Uh, we're talking about praying in other tongues, which is really a gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, praying in other tongues is praying in a language that uh, you've not learned naturally. There was no grammar, there was no syntax, but you, uh, you received it from the Holy Spirit. We received it from the Holy Spirit. It's an impartation, it's an enabling of the Holy Spirit uh, in our heart. So it's a wonderful gift and there are and there are, and one of the questions that that we can we ask is, you know, why is why is it wonderful? What's so what's so good about it? And uh, we are continuing with some of the questions uh, or some of the scriptures that we see that that point to the fact that praying in tongues is a wonderful uh, gift. Um, one Corinthians fourteen and verse four says, "He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, but he who he who prophesies edifies the church." And uh, so this verse <clears throat> talks about the fact that when we pray in a tongue, we are edified or we are built up. And that word edification, uh, uh, the, the full meaning is that we, there is constructive uh, spiritual progress, that we are edified. There's edification happening in the inner man. It's like... Uh, what we do in the natural, you know, when we exercise or we go to the gym and we work out and, and you know, we become stronger, our muscles are built and we, we gain strength. In the same way, when we pray in the spirit, we are built up in the spirit. We are built up, we are edified. And uh, when we look at another scripture, 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 9 says, I has not seen, ear has not heard, nor have entered into the heart the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God revealed them to us through the Holy Spirit. So we know that uh, this chapter, <clears throat> chapter 2 and verse 9 talks about how the Holy Spirit reveals things to our spirit. So when we pray in tongues, we, we are receiving or praying the mysteries of God. Uh, what eye has not seen, what ear has not heard, the Holy Spirit is revealing to our spirit. And uh, chapter 14 and verse 2 says, He who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God, How, and no one understands him. However, in the Spirit, he speaks mysteries. So, we see all these wonderful benefits of praying in tongues. So, the thing is for us to just start praying in tongues. You know, for uh, maybe there are some of us here who have not yet started praying in tongues. And uh, it's a very simple thing. Just is ask God, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and uh, I expect, I desire to pray in other tongues and fill me with this gift as well. And step out and, uh, and step out in faith and speak those words, speak those syllables that he's putting in your spirit. It's as simple as that and which happened to me as well. And, uh, and so let's pray and let's ask God to do that. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this wonderful uh, gift of tongues. Father, we thank you that you fill each one of us with your Holy Spirit. So we ask today that uh, even as we are listening, watching this, God, we pray that you would fill us, baptize us with your Holy Spirit and with fire. And Lord, we pray that even as we desire to receive the gift of tongues, we choose to, Lord, extend our faith and to receive this gift. And we choose to extend our faith and speak out those words as well. Speak out those syllables that you are putting in our heart, putting in our syllables, in our, in our spirit, Lord. We thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.